Hello, in this Vago tutorial, we will show you how to provide data via Modbus in the Vago Energy Data Management application. We have a PFC200 with Vago Energy Data Management, or EDM for short, installed. A 458 temperature measurement module with two temperature sensors is connected to the PFC. This provides us with two measured values, which we want to record in the EDM and pass on to a SCADA system via Modbus TCP. In this setup, the SCADA system is another PFC200, which then receives the values as a Modbus master. As Modbus sends analog values as word, we then need to convert the two words received into a real value. In EDM, we first need to create the two measurements as analog inputs. To do this, go to the Analog Inputs menu in the Inputs menu. The eight inputs of the input terminal are displayed and we can add the required channels to our EDM project by clicking on the Add button. We use the Settings button to assign a name, set the unit and find all the other settings necessary for temperature sensors. The created inputs are now also listed in the summary. The inputs are now correctly created, so we go to the menu, File and then Modbus Server Settings. First, we need to enable the Modbus Server and the TCP connection. At the bottom, we see the Modbus registers to which we must now assign the analog inputs. This process is also called mapping, which we do by clicking on the Create CSV and Map Files button. The Modbus registers now contain some cryptic numbers. We can then find the two analog values in the generated CSV file. The Modbus register address of the value is then given in the value address column. Each measured value is transmitted with a total of six words, even if we choose 64-bit encoding. The first two words contain the actual measurement. Our measured values are now available via the Modbus server and we switch to the other controller and want to receive the values in CodeSys. In CodeSys, we first create a Modbus master to which we connect a Modbus slave. We then enter the IP address of the slave, so that of the EDM controller, and check that the other Modbus TCP parameters, such as ID, port, and update rate are set correctly. Then we create two Modbus channels with function code 4, read input registers. The channel length is 2 because the EDM returns the readings in two words. The channel offset, that is the start address, can be found in the previously exported CSV file. Then we switch to I.O. mapping and assign variables to the two words, which we will only call in the program for the time being. We log in, load the program into the controller and start it. The readings are displayed. There are various ways of converting the measurements transferred via two word variables into nice real values. Here we show the conversion with a pointer for which we create a real function. The input variables are our two word variables, which we declare here as high and low word. We then declare the pointer using two words, which we use to combine the two word variables and then assign them to the high and low words accordingly. In the program, we create two real variables for the measured values and then assign the previously created function with the corresponding Modbus variables to each of them. A quick test 
and the measurements are displayed as real values. And that's the end of the tutorial on providing data via a Modbus slave in Vago Energy Data Management. Please give us a thumbs up if the video helped you, subscribe to the channel and contact the Vago support if you have any questions.